Welcome to another uh, video. Uh, I have here a baby monitor, I've been told. I don't have the camera to go with it. But all I've been asked to look at is this USB socket here on the uh, side. Um, uh, and see, is it loose? Does it need to be sold or replaced? Or can it be repaired? I don't know. I'm just going to have a look. Uh, I've never opened one of these before. Um, I, so I'm assuming we have to take these two screws out. And uh, let's see what we have. Uh, I can see that someone was at some time. That'll come down by itself. Low battery. Okay. You're out of shot. Okay. This clips out. Okay. That's it off. And I'm just going to disconnect this battery because we don't want it powered up when we're working on it. And let's take this board out. There's a couple of screws on it. I'm going to take the uh, connection for the LCD out. Let's see what we can do. Right. And take this little PCB off as well. Okay. Going on solder the speaker as well. Now we're free to have a look at it uh, any way we want. Uh, the only one we have to worry about now is this uh, board here. And uh, okay, that's clearly marked up positive and negative. So we know which goes on to where. Okay. I'll see if uh, any damage has been done to them. Okay, let's have a look at this USB under the microscope. Okay, I lost that little bit of footage there where I was examining the pins, uh, but uh, and I put flux in it. Lucky enough, I checked to see the footage, see was there any uh, audio, there wasn't. Uh, don't know what's happening, but uh, what we have here is all these pins are loose. Not them all, but the important ones that do the supply. By the, uh, the voltage to charge the battery.
little bit of solder, let it solder. I'm not going to use hot air on this because uh, there's a plastic connector right beside it. And anywhere the bridge is, I will just get a bit of solder, we can take it out. You're getting it off, keep an eye on the monitor, because what I'm seeing is not what you're seeing. Okay, get a little bit of flux in there. A little bit more flux on it. Let's clean it off and give it a test with the uh, uh, USB cable. Okay, let's check these now. Yeah. Okay, they're all solid. But uh, I'm, I would have to uh, imagine solder looks solid, but I'm going to put an extra bit of solder on the sides of these as well, just being the safe side. But before I do that, I'm going to check to see how I've got. Uh, is it charging? Is it charging this battery? I'm going to plug this in now and see is it actually charging? And it's charged both ways. What have we got? Now we've got 0.45, nearly half an amp. And it is charging. Wiggle it. You can see that there better now. I'm going to change it around. And we got 0.46. I don't know why that goes dim. Um, well, we're getting point nearly half an amp. So I'm wiggling it about. Yeah, that works. I'm just going to um, put a bit of solder on that. I'm not going to do that on camera, just to hold the uh, body in place. Uh, then put it back together and double check. So that was back together. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, I've soldered uh, the legs into the board a little bit more. Stop it moving uh, both sides. Um, now I'm going to put it in the back in its housing. Okay, the uh, board is back in there. I'm going to just uh, put the LCD screen back in, connect it back up. Push it in. 
fully and then just put the clamp down on it i won't connect the battery up yet because i've still got to um solder these wires back on okay no solving on I'll have to get a couple of them out. Okay. That's all. Got this large one here to do. I think I'll get my bigger solder now for this one. This is the antenna. Get a little bit of flux for this. Just a little. Yeah, it's the back on. Simply goes. You see, it just clipped together. Press the power button. Lighten up. I'll have to double check it. Two screws that go in here. And I said this was a part before. Don't know if it ever was working. So at least it's charged. I'll go and let it charge and uh, see what happens. All right, we have our that it is lighting up. Yes, it is. Uh, it just needs a bit of uh, power, I suppose, a bit of uh, energy and a bit of juice in its battery. And um, we are charging it at about a you know, fairly low rate at the moment. Uh, Seeking so to power it down. Get power down that charge up no it doesn't power down unusual okay I don't know what it's trying to do. Is it trying to find its camera? Um, I don't know. It seems in some kind of a... Let's see, can we... Have we got any menus? Anything functioning on it? No, not functioning at the moment. So there could be other problems with this as well. Uh, i get back to you. The reason for this... Uh, Shutting down and starting up all the time, and with the la uh, the low um, charging current, is because I left the battery disconnected. Uh, there we go. I would imagine that should uh, cure that problem. Um, everything else is connected. Um, speaker, mic, uh, LCD, antenna. Okay. Just had to double check. If I forgot one thing, I'd forget more. Okay, I'm going to reassemble it. it just go back together again. Dips in. And put the screws into it. Uh, 
that's that in. Let's see, can we power it up now? Obviously looking for its camera. Okay. All right. Now let's power it down. It's turning off. Okay. Uh, let me just see. Obviously, that is still turned on when you just press that. So I, I would imagine you'd have to press and hold it. How do you actually power this down? Shutting down. There you go. Now let's plug this in and see what kind of a charging current it has. Uh, okay, it comes on. Point six of an amp. I'm going to let it come on and then I'll power it down. Okay, uh, 300 milliamps. Um, it's charging. I'm happy with that. Um, hope that's helped. There's somebody out there that uh, has one of these in and they are not sure what to do um, if they got the soldering skills or will they send it in somewhere else to do it okay all right thanks for watching